Hey everyone, in today's episode, we're going to learn how to create and use groups in 3ds Max. Using groups can help us to add multiple objects into a single unit. For example, we can select all the shared objects and add them to a group by going to the main match menu and select the group menu, then choose group. We need to give it a name. Here, I recommend leaving the word group in your name. We're going to call this chair group. Now that we have the group created, in the Scene Explorer, we can see that there is a hierarchy. If we click any of the objects, all the objects in the group will be selected. And if we use the Move tool, all the objects will move at once. With the group selected, go back to the Group menu and choose Open. With the group open, we can see the pink brackets around the objects. If we click it, the group is going to be highlighted, but not the individual objects. This is because the group is also an object. In this case, a container for objects. But this container is not visible unless the group is open. And if we move it, even if the member objects are not selected, everything will move. To close the group, select any member of the group and in the group menu, choose close. If we want to break the group, we need to select any of the members of the group and go back to the group menu. This time, we're going to select on group. Something really interesting about groups is that we can nest them. For example, we can create individual groups for the chairs and then create another group of all the chairs. This opens the opportunity for a better organization. But we also need to be careful to not create an overly complicated structure. In the case of nested groups, if we use the open option, only the main group will be open. But as we can see, any other groups will be left unopened. If we want to open all the groups, we need to select Open Recursively. With this, we will open all the nested groups at the same time. When we have nested groups, using on group is going to break only the first group. All the other groups will remain in the scene. If we want to break all the groups at the same time, we need to use Explode instead. This will remove all the selected groups. After we have created a group, it is possible to add or remove individual objects from the group. To detach an object, we first need to open the group and then select the Detach option. We can see how the group bracket size changes, leaving the Remove Objects outside of it. To add an object, we need to select the object, then go back to the Group menu and select Attach. After this, just click the group to add the object to it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.